Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0, and today is day 19. Today, guys, we're going to dive into our newest applet, and that's going to be the Opportunity Applet. It is the sixth icon down, the Handshake icon, and let's go ahead and click on the Opportunities Applet and do a review of what this is all about. So essentially, Opportunities is where you're going to track all of your potential, current, and past transactions. So you have inside of the applet, first of all, at the top, you're gonna have your name here, and then you're gonna have an all opportunities tab as well. So think of this kind of as a graphical representation of what's going on in your world. This is going to be a list style representation of what's going on in your world. Back inside the pipeline view, on the right-hand side, as always, you're going to have the ability to create an opportunity. We're gonna do that in a future challenge. You've also got a settings wheel, and we're gonna talk about that in a future challenge as well. And then as you look at the screen, you have three pipelines. You've got a listing pipeline, a buyer's pipeline, and a lease landlord pipeline. In each one of those pipelines, you have what we call phases, and there are five of them and they are hard-coded, which means that they are not editable as far as the name and order in which they show up. So you can see that listings and buyers are pretty much identical, cultivate appointment, active, under contract, and closed. And then we come down to the lease pipeline, just one small change. Typically, we don't have anything under contract on a lease, but we do go pending. We've got paperwork. We're just waiting for move-in, etc. So... These five phases will be filled with opportunities as you build them, and we'll talk about that at a future challenge here shortly. Finally, on the right-hand side of each one of these pipelines, you have a box that labels the GCI coming in from these opportunities. When you build an opportunity, you most likely have a price point in mind for that buyer or seller or lease landlord, lease tenant. And as you enter in those opportunities, as you move it from left to right, you have a less likelihood of closing to a much higher likelihood of closing. You can actually build in a percentage likelihood to close inside each one of the stages, which we'll take a look at in just a second. Essentially, the potential income is how much you would make if every one of the opportunities you had closed. The probable income is each one of those opportunities multiplied by the percentage likelihood it is to close, which you have built in your stages, added up. So let's just say uh, for easy numbers, it's a you know a $10,000 commission in a cultivate, it's a 10% chance to close. Over here, you would have potential income of 10,000, but probable income of 1,000, because that would be a $10,000 commission times 10% that would be a probability of making 10K. This is really good for kind of deciding what your pipeline looks like. Uh, we don't wanna make uh, financial decisions based upon potential income because we know sometimes deals fall out, people bust a contract, they move in with family, they decide not to sell, etc. So this is a really good business tool to decide on your finances. As we scroll down, you're gonna see you've also got some reporting down here at the bottom. So this ratio column essentially is gonna tell you what percentage of your business is made up of listings, buyers, and lease landlords. And you'll actually see the number of opportunities you have in each one of those three pipelines, and then a graphical view down here of what the probable and potential is from each one. Then you also have a historic view of how many opportunities you have and you've created in each one of the months of the year here. And you can toggle between all opportunities, listing opportunities, buyer opportunities, landlord or tenant opportunities. Um, and so this is pretty cool. It usually has lines as you add more opportunities, um, depending on how long you've been with KW this year. You know, your line may start somewhere in here. You may have a line that goes the entire way, um, but uh, it's kind of a cool representation of how many deals uh, that you have added throughout the year. Finally, at the bottom, you're going to have a list of anything that is closing this month. Next, we're going to go into a brief view of stages, and we're going to have another challenge that talks much deeper into stages, but I just wanted to show you briefly on this first video. Uh, if we choose the cultivate phase, remember these are called phases, of our listing pipeline, you're going to see inside of the cultivate phase three stages. 
and you can see these are titled watch nurture and hot and you can see here are the percentages that we talked about earlier when an opportunity is built inside the watch stage of the cultivate phase via the stock version of command what they provide you right now they are saying best practice is probably a five percent likelihood of closing if we move over to appointment you can see you have three stages built here with a sliding percentage to close active has three stages as well under contract has four and then you'll see actually i think it has five because it has the legacy version and or clear to close excuse me so you actually have five and then closed is just one stage showing that it's closed. Now in a future video, I'm gonna show you how you can edit all of this. So while phases are hard coded, stages are completely editable. So you can change the name, you can rearrange them, you can add new stages, you can change the percentage likelihood to close. You can even build out checklists for what you need to be getting done inside of each one of those stages. So stay tuned for that. All of that is coming in a future video or two. But today, just a basic introduction to the Opportunity Applet and the Opportunity Home Screen, your three pipelines, your five phases, and then the stock stages that have been built for your use inside of each one of those phases. Tomorrow, we'll dive deeper into uh, creating an opportunity and what that looks like. And then we'll go th uh, through several other days of training on stages and connecting your opportunities to DocuSign and some other exciting stuff. So stay tuned for that. As always, I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.